So we're here at the Museum of uh, Arts and uh, Art et Métier, which is Arts and Jobs, or something like that, here in Paris. And uh, this is an absolutely insane uh, area right here. We have uh, the first 35 millimeter cinema camera from 1908 here from uh, uh, André Debris, for example. And if we go over here in this, this corner here, we can see uh, some other André Debris. This is the interview camera from 1922. You see this looks completely insanely awesome. Uh, down here, here's uh, this, this was uh, Pathé, the French company. In 1925, they started to do like, this is for home movies, this is for families. You could buy all these different parts and you can make your own home movies and you can even do the home projection at home. So I don't know how much it might cost. Let's say $5,000 or something in new two days money, but it's probably expensive. But you could get your own camera, a camera like this, put it on a tripod even, 1922, 25, do your own home movies. Here's a pate cock. Uh, Compact. Uh, this is goes in this box, and you have a projector. Projector right here. And uh, let's go check out the. These were the first, the first video cameras ever in the world. Um, Lumière. This is the Lumière camera. Cinematograph from uh, uh, Lumière, 1895. Come and check this this video here. This was filmed in 1895. The train arriving. You can uh, we can link to this. On YouTube, it's completely awesome. You see, from the 1800s, actual moving pictures from the end of the 19th century. And actually, even before Lumière, there was these guys here, Léon Bouly, 1892. They had some video cameras already. I get a video, you could, yeah, you, could, you call it like uh, film cameras. Film cameras, of course. Uh, and here's some more Lumière stuff right here. And uh, we, can, we can go on this side. Let's check some. This, this was actually uh, here. Uh, 1910, the first synchronized sound with the film, with the movie. 1910, they could actually, we were starting to do this. And some Thomas Edison is involved in here synchronizing, but it, did, it took like 20 years more before people really used it to get a sound on movies. Let's check some, some old microphones. Here's some very old microphones. This is Voxia, there's a funny Voxia brand here. Here we can see a Shure microphone. Shure was making a microphone in 1933. And uh, some old Philips uh, voice recorders. Here. This corner looks cool too. Okay, check this out. This is the Graham Bell, the original telephone uh, from Bell, right here. Uh, we have a whole bunch of very old telephones from the end of the 19th century, 1877, 1878, 1912. Here we have some very cool looking uh, telephone from uh, 1896 uh, from Berton Ader. Check how it looks. There, there was a network all over Paris. People were actually using telephones more than 120 years ago. Check how it looks. This is Breguet, like, uh, like jewelry makers from Switzerland. You need jewelry makers to make these. Looks awesome. These uh, telephones that can come after that. Now it's early TV. We are getting to early TV. 1938, the first television. Check out looks. Color television, this is in the 50s, 60s. And this is an early TV camera from 1935. I hope it's good. I'm speaking here in this area. And uh, what are we looking at over here? This is. Uh, Nipco disc, there's some disc stuff going on here. The first television manufactured in France, 1935. Some, uh, this is like from the 60s, so the television system got a little better in the 60s. Uh, Here, old, really old stuff. The war, like uh, sending messages and stuff in 1912. Uh, so this is this area. Old Canon cameras, old Nikon cameras. 
we're getting off. This is an interesting Nikon connected with a Kodak machine and some keyboard here doing some stuff. The first Polaroid from 1950. And here we get into some handheld cameras that are from the 1970s, 1960s. Handheld, uh, I guess, it's got to say here, uh, this is Kodak. And uh, the first VHS tape machine from 1975. Before 1975, nobody could record TV. Some uh, interesting internet terminal. There's some uh, initial, uh, this is a copy machine from 1982, and here's the Minitel. Actually, France was the first with the internet in 1980. Everybody in France got one of these, got an internet. And here's some uh, internet machine from Alcatel. I guess there was an ARM processor inside, I guess, because from 1999, and probably not what it is. Uh, this is the first video conferencing system from 1984. Video conferencing in 1984. Now, let's go over to the PC corner here. Sinclair Spectrum, 99 pounds, released in 1978, I think, if I remember the movie correctly. Uh, Thompson MO5, all these old, this is a PC, you connect it to the TV and you have a PC, like 30 years ago. Texas Instruments, Commodore. And the Apple, Apple Lisa 2, this is how it looks, and the old IBM machine here, uh, micro. So actually this, uh, this, uh, this museum is really cool. If you come to Paris, come and check it out. Musée Arts et Métiers, uh, really impressive old stuff and the original cameras, the original projectors, original computers. It's very cool.